Hey everyone, I'm Jack Fawcett, and this is the Maxon Overdrive OD808. This is as classic a tube screamer as you can get. For those of you that don't know the brief history of this, is that the people who would form Maxon are the people who actually invented the tube screamer and then licensed it to Ibanez. So a Maxon OD808 is every bit as authentic a tube screamer as an Ibanez tube screamer. You could even argue that it is more authentic because it's coming directly from the people who actually invented the circuit as opposed to going through another company. Now, this is not a sponsored review. This is one that I picked up on my own because I love this pedal. I'm a big tube screamer fan. And of course, I just wanted to have a great OD808 from Maxon. These are made very, very similarly to the original. The one thing that they mention is that they've kind of adjusted the circuit slightly to make it a little bit less noisy. It sounds great. It sounds real. This is an old one that is all beat up, and I, I love that for a number of reasons. Number one, usually when you get a really beat up pedal, it means that it's probably been used, which means that it's a good one. A pedal wouldn't get this much wear if it were a lousy sounding pedal. The other thing is that it's just, it's such a disaster. And you know, even this is my favorite. It's got this big old screw right here holding in the balance knob, which is your, your volume, your output knob. And that's not only such a great just cheap musician hack but also i'm from maine and that's such a great maine hack as well oh yeah yeah look at that little doohickey holds knob in place it popped out yeah well ain't gonna spend three bucks on a new knob why don't we just find a screw jam her in there she'll be good as new and it's missing screws in the back it's got you know this one's got velcro that's been just absolutely shredded off and it's got chips all around the edges and things but with a tube screamer it's kind of like stevie ray vaughn's stratocaster tube screamer is a pedal that's a little bit cooler if it's beaten up so we just heard with the fender stratocaster playing into a franklin amps tweed 5e3 and what i'm doing is just playing on some basic settings and then 
then that one setting at the end is kind of my preferred setting for not only this tube screamer but other tube screamers as well which is when you get the overdrive somewhere between one o'clock and three o'clock and then you know output and i really like it with the tone right in the middle it just you know suits everything I find that tube screamers aren't really tone shaping pedals. They kind of just do their thing. So the tone is really more just to adjust for whether or not you have a really dark setup or a really bright setup to just kind of either push it a little bit more, back it off if you need to, as opposed to something where you can really use it to EQ, to sculpt a tone. No, it's just, it's a powerful, rich pedal. It has the classic mid hump, but not in any sort of cheesy or plasticky way. This is a rip-roaring pedal, and as far as I know, the circuits are incredibly similar to the one that Ibanez was producing, but I believe this one, at least to my ear, sounds a little different and sounds a little better. I actually prefer this one to the Ibanez 808 Overdrive. They're close. They are both... 808s, but this one kind of takes the cake for me. And then, of course, uh, if you haven't seen my demo of the Maxon Apex 808, which is a uniquely built tube screamer based off of some of the best ones that were ever out there, kind of working off of a unique chip that was consistent among some of the best ones they had found, check out that demo as well. This one is your standard Maxon Overdrive OD 808. Made in Japan, 9 volt, great pedal. I, I think it's a must have. I think everybody really needs a tube screamer. That's just me. I love tube screamers. Anyway, we're going to play it now with a Gibson Les Paul Deluxe, so you can hear it with some mini humbuckers. We're going to go into the same amp setup. Let us know in the comments, have you ever played one of the Maxon 808s? Have you ever played other 808s, or do you play any other variation of the tube screamer? Let us know down below. I'm Jack Fawcett. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.